I'm new at 11. We have new video of the chaos and violence that unfolded this evening on the Cats Light Rail in South End Charlotte. It started with an argument on the train. Then someone pulled the emergency stop handle and the train stopped. Take a look at this video that's just into our newsroom. It shows the fight that had begun on the light rail continuing outside on the tracks. You can see some sort of struggle here, people trying to intervene. And in the video, you can also hear people yelling, put the knife down. Well, WBTV's Cam Gaskins has been following this breaking news all afternoon long. And Cam, I know you talked to the person who shot the video we were just showing. So was that person on the train as well? Yeah, John, Thomas Ownby tells me he was on that train and he saw the fight break out as it happened. And he also tells me he was the one who pulled that emergency brake to stop the train and get everybody off safely. Now, as for the injuries sustained from this altercation, we've seen some conflicting reports. According to Medic, this was a stabbing that happened on the train and one person was transported with serious injuries, whereas CMPD told us later on in the evening that this was a fight that broke out that resulted in non-life-threatening cuts to both parties involved. Now, I heard from OMB and got his account of everything that he saw and heard as that fight unfolded. He gives us his details tonight at 11. Thomas Ownby has been riding public transportation in Charlotte for nearly eight years and says he's never seen what he saw on the light rail Thursday evening. I've never seen it this bad, no. It started with his ride home on the blue line along South Boulevard when he saw a couple on the train get into a verbal altercation with an older man. It kind of de-escalated until it re-escalated again. That's when the altercation went from verbal to shockingly physical. The older gentleman uh, took out a knife and lunged at him and stabbed him. Once he saw that knife, Ownby says that's when he needed to take action for the safety of everyone on the train. That's when I decided to protect everybody that was encapsulated in the train and uh, I pulled the, the lever to stop the train. And I actually cut myself on the fence, there's a little black fence there about three foot. And but I even after the involved parties got off the train, the altercation continued. This video taken by Ownby shows the couple struggling with the old man still clutching his knife in his right hand as they try to wrestle it away from him. Then in this next video, you see CMPD officers quickly arriving on scene to detain the older man and de-escalate that situation. Ownby says even though nobody was seriously injured, he's glad that he took action to provide a safe exit for those on board. Friend, if you're in a restaurant or the mall, you can find an exit. There, you can't. He rides the train nearly every day to and from work uptown, but would this incident give him pause before getting on the train again? I gotta go to work tomorrow, so I'm gonna ride the train again, but like always, I, I would tell people to keep your head on the swivel. Now, as for what happened to that older man with the knife who was detained, when we arrived here on scene, we saw him in the back of a CMPD squad car, and around 7 o'clock, he was taken out of that car and put on a stretcher into an ambulance, presumably to be taken to a hospital. But at this time, CMPD has not made any arrests in this incident. Reporting live in South End, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV on your side. All right, thanks, Cam. And by the way, the Blue Line service was suspended between Newburn and Archdale stations while police investigated the incident. Everything is now. Now back to normal.